Located along the dreary southeastern cliffsides of England out of Falmouth lies an iconic and historic fortification steeped in fascinating history and chilling legends of ghostly encounters. Terrifying phantoms, disembodied cries, and a mysterious lady in white await on this exploration of the one and only Pendennis Castle. Nestled atop the rugged cliffs of Cornwall, Pendennis Castle stands as a formidable testament to England's maritime heritage and its enduring spirit. Its history, spanning over four and a half centuries, is a captivating narrative that weaves together the threads of heroic defense, royal favor, and persistent air of the supernatural. Erected during the reign of King Henry VIII in the 16th century, Pendennis Castle was conceived as a bastion of England's coastal defense, a sentinel poised to protect against the looming specter of invasion and its commanding position overlooking the Fall Estuary and Falmouth Harbor endowed it with a strategic significance and served as a visual testament to England's naval dominance during this era. Across the annals of time, Pendennis Castle played a pivotal role in a multitude of historical conflicts. The English Civil War witnessed its transformation into a steadfast royalist stronghold, with Sir John Arundel leading a valiant defense. And it was also a pivotal coastal fortification through both World Wars I and II, serving as a military garrison. Incidentally, the battle scars etched into its stones bear witness to centuries of warfare, sieges, and the relentless passage of time. Beyond its illustrious history, Pendennis Castle is shrouded in eerie legends and reports of paranormal phenomena, rendering it a place where the specters of the past continue to walk and where the echoes of history reverberate through to the present. One of the most enduring legends is the haunting tale of the Headless Drummer Boy, a spectral presence said to roam the castle's grounds, particularly under the veil of nightfall. And witnesses have recounted faint yet rhythmic drum beats, the source of which remains an enigma to this day. Accompanying this eerie auditory phenomenon is the appearance of a headless boy clad in attire reminiscent of the 17th century, and many believe that this ethereal figure is a lingering echo from the turbulent times of the English Civil War, when Pendennis Castle stood besieged. The castle's subterranean dungeons and their oppressive stone walls and winding passages are notorious for spectral activity as well. And there, visitors and staff alike have reported disembodied voices, mysterious whispers that seem to emerge from the very bowels of the earth, and ghostly footsteps that echo hauntingly through the subterranean chambers. Additionally, shadowy figures, glimpsed fleetingly and that disappear into the inky darkness, contribute to the disquieting ambiance, casting an enduring shroud of foreboding over these underground domains. A spectral, pale woman, often referred to as the White Lady, has made her ethereal presence known within the castle's precincts. She's described as a ghostly figure draped in period clothing, her apparition often accompanied by an air of profound sorrow and melancholy, and speculation abounds that she may be linked to a tragic love story concealed within the folds of the castle's historical tapestry. Visitors to the castle have also recounted abrupt and inexplicable drops in temperature, with chilling cold spots manifesting in areas where such phenomena defy rational explanation, and these eerie occurrences have led some to interpret them as tangible evidence of lingering spirits. In the upper chambers of the castle, which have served as living quarters for soldiers and officers across the centuries, guests have described an uncanny sensation of being watched followed, or even touched by unseen hands. And these ethereal encounters have left an indelible mark on those who traverse these rooms, further cementing the castle's reputation as a place steeped in spectral intrigue. Pendennis Castle, with its breathtaking vistas of Cornwall's untamed coastline and its profound historical narrative, endures as a place where the echoes of bygone centuries and the spectral presences of the past continue to intertwine. It stands as a symbol of England's unwavering coastal defenses, a place where history and the ethereal merge, crafting a lingering aura of mystery and fascination that beckons all who pass through its ancient gateways. Thanks for joining me in delving through the mysteries of Pendennis Castle. If you enjoyed hearing my histories and ghost stories, subscribe to my channel, like this upload, and share me with anyone you feel could use a good scare. I'll catch you all next time.